Челиш, какви са тези работи, бе? Я да ги оставяш веднага. Наркоман с наркоман такъв. Бабо, нещо се чувствам болен, болима главата, имам температура май. За това. Абе, Келиш от малък. Баба ти колко пъти ти е казвала? Кое е най-хубавото лекарство за такива работи? Ела сега, ще покажа как да правиш тая ликовита отвара. Още известна като пилешка супа. Хайде! Е, поне днес няма да има чеха в главата. Welcome to the new video. We are making soup today, but not just any kind of soup. We are making the remedy of all remedies, the greatest pharmaceutical product in existence. After all swabs have different kinds of soups, as you may know, we invented the soup. We will specifically make my babushka's original chicken soup recipe. It is known with its great taste and also with its healing properties. It basically cures everything. If it doesn't, you haven't eaten enough of it. The main idea of the soup comes from lack of resources. Imagine that you are locked in a Slav village some 150 years ago. You have only three potatoes left, an old carrot which you took from the ground two months ago, a little bit of onion, some chicken leftovers from the chicken that you butchered on your own and some chicken broth if you were smart enough to boil your chicken. Aside from that, the chickens you did not butcher, were very thankful to you and provided you with some eggs and somehow you found this fancy new tropical fruit somewhere known as a lemon and you have some herb bushes all around you. So here comes the question, why not prepare tasty things in a huge barrel? This is how the soup was born as a dish in the way that I will be showing you today. We will not butcher chickens today, we will get the meat from the store, we will boil it for a nice broth, we'll cut down some vegetables, put them also in the broth, add in some soup noodles, because why not, we have them. And for the bonus round, we'll make our soup even more nutritious with some uh, eggs and lemon. It's a fully optional step, by the way, but if you're interested, stick out for the bonus round. The soup is perfect thing to eat when the weather outside is cold, or you just feel cold, or you have a cold. I wonder how you can use the same word for so many different things. Also, soup is perfect for you when the weather is warm. Basically, it's perfect whenever. Soup is soup, it will always be trendy. The fact that we will be adding a lot of meat, potatoes, even eggs, makes the soup even a main dish. I say that because Swiss loves eat the soup as a side dish, like before we eat our main dish. But don't ask me how we Slavs have three course meals with being so poor. I don't have an answer to that question. This is, this is old folks magic. I cannot review this today. With that said, let's go to prepare the soup so you can, you can learn how to prepare it too and become level nine chicken soup slash chef. As usual, we'll start with the products. You need 650 grams of chicken meat. They say it's chicken. I use dark meat, some gold grenades, cry apples, an orange stick and a red thingy. Some soup noodles, two eggs, not one, salt, pepper, lemon, it's not in the shot and yogurt photobond me. No place for yogurt there. After that, you enter secret code for the Slavic sequence for making a soup. Become a friend with your chicken. Remove things from it that you don't want. I use dark boneless chicken meat. I save time this way, the taste is 90% the same. You can use a whole chicken and meat with the bone. It will make the broth stronger. Add your chicken into a pot. This fancy pot replaces the Balkan War 1. For now, I add some hot water over the chicken again to cook it faster. Put it on the stove. I add some more water as it looks to me that it's not enough. Leave the chicken to boil and form a tasty, tasty broth. Meanwhile, open the window to your dog so it can observe for intruders. This is a very important step. Peel the orange sticky thing with the potato peeler. I love this thing. It's so multi-purpose, I bet it was invented by Slavs. 
Actually, I'm certain of it. Peel your gold grenades and make sure to boop your doggo on the nose. Good doggo. As it licks you, go and wash your hands. Cry for some time while peeling cry apples. After all, they're made for that. Clean up your elongated red vitamin. Cut everything into cubes with a similar size so everything cooks evenly. This is the most time consuming thing in this recipe. So make sure to book half of your day for cutting things into cubes. There are some slav soups which have the veggies in huge chunks, but this will be another video with another favorite soup of mine. Meanwhile, our chicken started to bathe in the boiling water. Extract it out with a ladle, because you don't know a father instrument. For best results, extract it into a green bowl. You can use the orange bowl too, but the green one is for better results. Dog wants chicken, of course, what a surprise. No chicken for you today, sorry. After you remove the chicken from the broth, throw in the veggies so they can start cooking. Put the lid on so it boils faster and the steam won't run away because it helps cook the vegetables. After that, a surprise. Time to cube more stuff. We'll cube our chicken. You can use your hands to make it into little pieces, but I prefer to cube it with a knife. When the potatoes and the carrots are soft, it's time to return the chicken to where it belongs. Take me home to the place I belong. Tasty chicken, I am cutting on my board with a knife. Throw in some salt for a better taste. Break down the noodles. Be careful with that because it's quite painful to do it with your hands. But for a tough slav, it's not a problem at all, especially for babushka. Mix well, add in some pepper and dried vegetable mix, which by the way is fully optional. And with that, our soup is perfect. Bonus slavness. For the bonus round, I'll show you how to make this soup even better. I know it's perfect, but we'll make it better. Yes, this is possible. Get a strange instrument, identify it as a manual citrus press. Get a lemon and split it in half. Use the manual citrus press because it's pointless to have an electric utensil for that. Extract the juice from one lemon. This is a perfect way to test your slav strength again. In case you possess an electric press, you can use that too, but you'll be qualified as a weak link. You'll be rewarded with lemon juice in the end. With two chicken shelled grenades, well, in a metal bowl. It's pretty metal, I know, heavy metal. Mix up the eggs with the lemon juice very well. Now we need to add this to the soup, but with a special procedure, as we don't want the egg curds all around the soup. We need to slowly add five, six ladles from the broth to the eggs while mixing all the time. This will cook the eggs without making them in curds. The secret is to reach a temperature close to the one of the soup so the eggs won't curdle up. This is a hard process, but after you mess it up two or three times, it becomes an easy one. Even if the eggs curdle, the soup is perfectly edible. It's not aesthetic though. By the way, some Asian soups curdle the eggs on purpose. After 5 or 6 ladles are added, return the mixture back slowly and mix all the time. I do that with the whisk, not sure why, but it works perfectly. The suave difficulty level, I would say 2 out of 5, the recipe is pretty easy and straightforward, nothing to mess up. But if you do the bonus round, round, it immediately goes to 4 out of 5, as the process of adding the eggs to the hot soup can be quite tricky, especially for the one who is not trained in the slav cooking arts. Even an experienced babushka can mess this up sometimes, but rarely. Energy. This is basically water with chicken, the energy you receive from it should not bother you. Also it depends on what you get from the soup. But I would say a nice bowl of this soup has around 250 calories and a good amount of protein. And a lot of vitamins. You can add some green things before you serve the soup. I avoid adding them during the cooking because not everyone at home loves green stuff. Typically I use parsley and celery. Not boiling the greens also keeps them fresh and makes your soup last longer. It can spoil faster 
from the green stuff added in it. Also it's essential to add more lemon. The soups goes perfectly with lemon, like they're best friends. So if you have a cold or you just need some slav comfort food, this soup is the perfect thing for you. It's easy to prepare and the slav always appreciates when there's soup before the main dish, so try it. I hope you like this slavic soupness and if so, make sure to subscribe for more. Love you next time.